Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can create a terms of service policy as well as implement it onto your Shopify web store, guys. So basically in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually go ahead and do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is once you're here at the admin page, you're going to want to go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and click on settings. Now from settings, you're going to want to get, navigate all the way down to the policies option. Now go ahead and click on policies and from policies guys you're gonna want to all uh, head all the way down to the terms of service now there are other policies I can actually you know edit and stuff so basically you're gonna want to go ahead and go to the terms of service and then you can actually create your own terms of service here guys so basically uh, you know I find it a lot more convenient if you get it from the template because it saves you time from writing all the terms and stuff so basically go ahead and create from template and you can see here we have a preset terms of service so basically once it's, that is actually completed completed go ahead and save your terms of service and then the store policy is actually going to be saved so go ahead and go back to the admin page and from the admin page you're going to want to head over to the sales channel and you guys can see that online store is right here so go ahead and click on online store and now we're going to go ahead and implement it onto our website guys so it could be shown to our website visitors so go ahead head over to online store and head over to navigation which is going to be the fourth option underneath pages so go ahead and click on navigation and from navigation you guys can see that there are actually menus here so a footer menu is basically the bottom of the web page guys it'll be shown at the bottom of your store and a main, men main menu is going to always be shown at the top of your website guys so basically um, I usually like having them in the footer menu but we're gonna go ahead and add it to the main menu just for today's video as an example so go ahead and click on main menu and from main menu you guys can see that we actually have the home catalog Login contact menu items. Now, basically, you're going to want to go ahead and add a menu item, and you guys can see that you know you could type a name for that, but that's not really needed. You're just going to want to go ahead and straight go for the link and then click on policies. Now, from policies, you guys can see that our terms of service should be here. So, go ahead, it already gives you the name automatically, and basically, you're pretty much going to want to go ahead and just add it from here and go ahead and save your menu items. So, from here, guys, reflections are almost instant to your website. So, we're going to go ahead and go to our online store and check it out so basically you guys can see that now we actually have our terms of service at the top of our website so basically go ahead and click on it and review everything as it should so you guys can see that all the preset stuff is pretty much on here and is now implemented onto our store so basically that's how you go ahead and create a terms of service for your store and actually add it on there so if you guys haven't already guys make sure you guys leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below your feedback of today's video guys if you found it helpful or not and how i can improve the videos but with that being said guys hopefully you guys have a nice day and i'll go ahead and see you guys for the next video